Hello everyone, and I'm in the dining room now because we've got a project. And as you can see, there's a 27 inch iMac 2011, which is going to get a memory upgrade. And I'm gonna show you how. We need the following piece of, of equipment, that screwdriver, and these, crucial one, there's one, two, 16 gig of RAM. Right, what you do is the following. We're gonna turn this Mac on its front. I'm gonna put the camera here so you're not gonna see me for a second. But we're gonna flip this Mac over so that the front of it is facing down. Now, this is not what Apple always recommend to do, but when you're installing RAM, you do it like this to get it. So you wanna get this as flat as you can. This desk is not big enough. Right, okay, we have a flattened Mac. Yeah, look at that, it's pretty sad, eh? Right, what you've got on the front edge of your Mac, as you can see, you've got you've got your speaker running all the way across. And you see there, I don't know if you can see, but if I zoom in, you can see a little black dot there. There it is, look. That, hang on, let's zoom out a bit because I've lost focus. That there in the middle, that, that piece where my finger is. That there in the center is the target for our screwdriver. There's one there. Trace along. There's one there. And there's one in the middle, right there. Now we need to we need to blast those screws out. So let me just get the screwdriver, and we will attack this Mac. Now I'm working at close quarters so you guys can see. So I'm going to take for ease of use. I'm going to try and do this as best I can. Um, what you basically do, you just Find, uh, find the scrolls is tricky on this at best. So I do apologize for my camera work here while I get this thing apart. Um, this is actually really difficult. I don't know why Apple made this so damn difficult, but we're gonna basically just try it. Now you might not be able to see what I'm doing, and I do apologize for that, but I am actually taking the screws out of the thing. Well, you don't, they don't come out all the way. But what you do is you pop them, um, you pop them free. Is the idea you unscrew them to pop? Now you might be able to see the bloody great big. You might be able to see my fingers turning the screwdriver there. Um, sorry about the angle of this. As I say, I'm partially sighted, and this is not my easiest forte into life. But I will give you an example of how to install RAM in an iMac. Now when your three screws are undone, which they now are, all you do, just jimmy that off, it's not quite out yet, i just got to play with it a little more on the middle hole, and just turn that around a bit more and just jimmy that middle one off, because what's basically happened is it needs to come all the way off. So. This, all, this middle one is always the most, there it is. It's now off and you can see that's what we've got. Right, now these little plastic tapes, you pull those out, there's one there and there's one there. Right, you give that a tug. And, right, that's pulled that. Now that's joined, there's the ram, that's pulled the ram forward. That's in the back slot. There's a four gig slot out. Put it on the desk. You pull. It does need a considerable amount of force to pull on them tabs. But there's your second RAM. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly pop these new RAM sticks open. We haven't even opened these yet. This is gonna be fun. <sighs> I hate this job, but it's gotta be done. 
what we'll do is we'll do a full, um, I'll turn this camera towards me so you can sort of see what I'm doing here. There's my ram. Now they're in a container, thankfully, which is that. We'll take a stick, which is kind of jammed in. We'll push it from the back, that's it, we'll get that out. And what we do, gonna, I've discharged my static. My hand is completely statically discharged. So I'm holding the ram with the edges. And what we do, we find a slot and we push this mighty devil in. Now, it only fits one way. This is a great thing about this machine. The slots only fit one way and I've got it the wrong way. So what you have to do, you have to line them up. It's awkward, but once you get it in, which I'm gonna have to do it with the camera there so you can see what I'm trying to do here. This is actually really awkward to do if you don't see very well, which I don't. No, that doesn't fit. So you turn it around that way and it will snug quite happily down. I'll show you it when it's... No, it won't fit. Why, why is that not fitting in? Is that... Have I got it the wrong way around or something? Uh, let's try it in the top slot. I must have got it. No, it's gone in. I've got it the right way. So the, I've snugged it in the top slot. I'm going to snug this one also in the top slot because we must. Um, I don't know how much of this you can see guys because I say completely partially sighted. Um, I'm going to show you this now with two slots in. See there, you can just see the ram at the top there pushed level in and at that side as well. Now there's another slot at the bottom which we're going to also use. So I'm going to get the other ram slot, the other ram package. I'm going to put the 4 gig back in one of these keep these safe because I don't need to lose them and um, because we need these later so I'm going to put them back in there <laughs> they won't go back in as well as what they were in when I got these but they'll be packaged up enough that I can keep them not perfect but it will do right so that's my original 4 gig packaged up um, let's get this other one. This is the other 8 gig. Um, just pop this open. And we'll see if we can get this one in. This will give an iMac 16 gigs of RAM. This is crucial RAM that I bought from Amazon. There's the memory sticks. Don't know how well my camera angles are. But again, I'll try and show you this time what I'm doing because I'm working on the, I've got the second slot now. This isn't going to be as hard to show you on the second slot as what it was on the first slot. You take your RAM module and you line it up with your slot. This is actually kind of hard to this is kind of hard to do, but what you do, you line your memory module up with your bottom slot, which I'm trying to do now and it's not working. Hee <laughs> hee. And what will happen? Let me just turn this around so I can get it lined up with hands because lining this up with hands is far easier than trying to line it up when you have it not in your hand. Right, there it is. I've got it pushed part way in. You just push the memory and it's the wrong way around. Let's flip it the other way. The memory can only fit one way. So you have the, on this side, it's label side down. So push that in. It's a bit tough, but it's in. It's now in the bottom slot. So we know for a fact that putting the RAM into this Mac is fairly straightforward. Let's grab the other stick. Uh, label side up. We're gonna go for label side up again just because. So you just grab the other side and you push. Right, I pushed the RAM part way in. So you can see it's still sort of stuck out a little bit. There's two in there. You can't really see them, but they're both in there. Just push the bottom one. This one's going to prove me wrong. I want to go and label side down. Just because it can. Push it in. 
give it a snug fit and there's your ram installed. Now you just tuck your tabs back under wherever you can tuck them like that. Tuck the right hand tab in, your tabs are back in. Now we just attach the door which you just push put the door over where the ram was like that. That's now got that on there. Uh, we now just fasten that back on with a screwdriver, which I seem to have lost my screwdriver. This is not good. Uh, what did I do with that? Oh, there it is. I'll just tighten this back up. And then what I'll do is we'll then test the machine. I've got all the stuff on the desk. We'll give the machine a run up. We'll give it its virgin run. So this Mac has now got 16 gig of RAM and uh, we'll give it its first run. Now hopefully this video hasn't taken more than 15 minutes to produce because if it has my YouTube channel is going to kill me because it won't let me do more than 15 minutes. I'm just putting the screws back in the bottom. You probably can't really see what I'm doing very well um, but basically we're just attaching the RAM door to the bottom and hopefully this Mac will boot with 16G of RAM I'm hoping that this is gonna actually work after all this trouble. The four original gig that was in is now safe and securely anti-statically back in its casings. Right, we're just putting the other side door back on. Now this is the tricky bit, we've gotta get that third screw back in. I hate these screws on this bottom door because they're a real pain to get back in line. And the bottom door hasn't lined up properly. Yes, it has now. Good, right. Now we can get this back on. So let's screw that back on. Like so. The Mac is now finished. We'll put the screwdriver away. I will then flip the Mac on its front. The way, oop, hang on. Just gotta get this heavy old beast up on its front. Oh, this is a heavy machine. Right, now, for the final test. Will this run with 16 gigs of RAM? Let's get it all connected up to the mains and see. Right, so we're gonna put the keyboard and the mouse in front of it, like that. We will then connect the keyboard to the back. This is kind of boring, but I just wanna make 100% sure. Oh, sorry camera, you did sort of want to wobble away like that. I do apologize people. Let's just connect this piece to the wall, wherever the wall socket might be around here. Oh, screw it, I'll just use one of them ones. There's one over that side that's free, so I'll use that. And then just connect this to the back of the Mac because we need to just absolutely make sure that that is going to boot. And it's looking all right. Let's give it a few seconds and we'll fire it up. And I'll be back in a second. Doesn't sound like there's any beeps or complaints. I'm just going to check the screens. See if it's actually booted. It's looking good. No speech yet. Welcome to OS 10. Yes, Mac there is. Selected volume. Yes, there is. So let's go to about this Mac. Menu bar, Apple. Apple, menu 10 items. About this Mac. About this authentication. About this Mac window. Pull Mac OS 10 logo image. Version. So, processor. Two, memory. 16 gigabytes, 1,100 CDR3, memory. 16 gigabytes, 1,333 CDR3. There it is. There it is. A 16 gigabytes Apple iMac. And it is fast. Finder, desktop, Macintosh HD, right. selected volume. That's 